Hello and welcome to your fourth Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is Sky, Sky Guy 1121 and let's go ahead and get started. Um, so in the last tutorial I talked to you guys about how to make a block multi-textured and in this tutorial, um, which is also the second part of our current tutorials, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to give the block metadata so that it'll always face you when you place it down. So Metadata, for those of you who don't know, confuses me a lot. So, um, I, and I'm getting better at it, but I can't explain it terribly well, and I definitely can't remember the specific code for it. So what I did is I went in, and I got the code I needed from Block Furnace. I've edited it a bit, um, because there was some stuff that just looked really confusing. Um, so I changed that a bit, and I went ahead and I have it um, copied, so I'm just going to paste that in and then talk about it. So, uh, the very first method we're going to do, this is pretty easy, it's public void on block added, world, world, in part two, so x, y, z. And basically all we're doing is calling the set default direction method, which is right here, um, for this. Um, now in set default direction, it's basically going to um, set the direction based on where, based on what's around the block. Um, it's not terribly useful for a furnace, but what it's doing is it's basically getting the block IDs of the surrounding blocks and checking if they are solid blocks. Like, air is a block in the game, so um, they're checking to make sure they're solid blocks. Um, now, what the, um, the interesting code, which we're looking for, is right here, on block placed by world, int x, y, z, and entity living. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the facing of our living entity, which is right here, and it's going to basically set the metadata um, to 2, 5, 3, and 4 based on the rotation. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take the metadata and put it into get block texture. And what this is going to do, we have the side, so if the side is 1 or 0, return red furnace top. Um, otherwise, and this is the code that looked really confusing to me when I copied it, so I changed it a bit. Um, otherwise, get the block metadata, and then if par 5, so the side is not equal to this, which is what, what um, the front side of the block, um, then return red furnace side, otherwise return red furnace front. Um, now, what we could do is we could make it to where it always faces away from you. And that's pretty easy. All we need to do is change like this to 4, this to 2, oops. no, this to 4, this to, back to 2. Okay, all we would need to do is change this to 3 this to 2, this to 4, and this to 5, and I just messed that up. This should be 2, and this should be 4. Okay, there we go. And you'll see um, that it'll, if I get this to the recording area, that it'll make the block always face away from us. You can see, no matter how we place it, um, it's always facing away from us. But we don't want that. We want it to face to us. So I'm just going to change this back to 5, 4, 3, and 2. Um, and you can see, basically, Or you could have it like always face to the left. I don't know why you would want 
it always way to the left, but you can. Um, and we have it always faces towards us. So um, in the next tutorial, I guess we'll cover um, making the block uh, either giving the block an inventory or so that when we right click on it we can actually do the furnace stuff um, or we will cover um, what was it um, giving the block particles uh, for when it's on or off so um, that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more see you